Gaffer, obviously, it's the first time we spoke, so firstly, welcome to the club. How have the first eight weeks been here? Yeah, extremely busy. Um, it seems such a long while ago since it first happened, but here we are. I think it, it, it's certainly gone gone quick, as in the weeks have literally flew by. Um, recruitment, again, we've been busy recruiting players. It's been totally full on, which is what I expected. And it's brilliant to think that the season's now just around the corner on Saturday. So, uh so yeah, we're all looking forward to it, um, prepared and ready to go. How's the welcome been so far from obviously the fans, the club itself? Have you enjoyed it? Yeah, absolutely been brilliant. You know, it's um, I've come through the door and you know everyone's made me feel so welcome. Um, obviously with the staff as well. Um, you know, everything's everything's pretty much done for us. So um, so yeah, everyone's so friendly. You know, I think. As it's shown at the game last Saturday away at Dorking, you know, with the, the journey on the way home, everybody together. And I think, you know, that's something that um, that we're building, you know, as a group, not just as a playing staff management management team, but um, through the whole club. So, um, yeah, it was good to see. Touch on your management team there. Obviously, you've got Hinksy and Sneaks and Kev Riyak. Can you talk to them for a sec? Yeah. Um, first of all, yeah, I want to say thank you to them because they've... Been been brilliant. The fact you know helping me settle in and took lots of work um, away from me, allow me to do do the bits that I do. Um, I think as a team we've um, we've blended in pretty well. Um, I think you know we're setting standards, we're drawing up targets that what we want from ourselves and how we can get better. Um, and as we said, you know it's pretty much a, a revolution really. You know it's totally from from blank. Um, and you know we've worked worked really really hard to get the players in in that we have done you know not just us but um, but John and Nick as well um, and yeah and it's about putting in the hard yards in football um, to hopefully you know get, get out of it um, what you put in um, but yeah we're certainly um, happy in in so far. I say touched on the revolution there. It's obviously been a little bit of a challenge, but how much have you enjoyed it? Yes, yeah, it's been brilliant. You know, I think you know, as I've I've been at uh, at Colville for a long period, and before that, Grantham, and then Colville before then. Um, so I've come in, and it's been brilliant because I, I think I've kick started myself. Um, I think same as the staff as well. Two excellent coaches in in um, Richard and uh, Steve, and Kev as well. You know, come in and do, do the bits he does. But but we've set standards of ourselves, and um, I think. A case of as a football club we've been written off. Um, you were last year, did very well in stopping up, um, and it's the same this year, you know. Um, and we've got a few prove a few people wrong, um, which you know that's no pressure on us. Um, but you know we'll certainly put that on ourselves um, to st- to uh, certainly strive to succeed. In terms of the recruitment, like you touched on there, there's been a lot of. Big name signings, but also a lot of experience as well. Can you touch on how the recruitment's been focused around? Yeah, well, I mean, to be honest, go, going over the years, I've managed a lot. I like to sign players which can play in more than one position. Hence, we're you know obviously being a small club, and we need lads w- which can do that. You know, we're not we're not like a full time club like you, you know, your Scunthorpes, your Kidderminsters, you, you know, all of these clubs, you know, far bigger than us. So we've got to we've got to be savvy in our recruitment. In our recruitment, <coughs> excuse me. So um, yeah, so we outlined targets. Um, I wanted us to be fit, you know, um, the right age to progress, so they can progress, we can progress, and 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 can improve. And I think we've added the bits of experience there as well, such as yeah, obviously, your yeah, Nathan Cameron's, uh, Liam McAlinden's, you know, Paul White's um, experienced performers, but then. Then the other lads have all got experience of playing at this level. You know, we were still at a, a young age, such as you know, like Dempsey, Aidan Campbell, Kazai Martin. You know, I'm j- just names names off the top of my head. So, so yeah, there's a structure behind in in, in what we're doing. Um, lads with certainly with a point to prove, and I think how they've trained through the summer, you can see that. Um, and I think the bonds there come come in between them. You know, to be honest, as I think I've said previously, we're I think in what we've got together in such a short short space of time, um, starting to gel together. I mean, we'll see when the season starts, obviously. But but yeah, it's um, 
it's been a good pre-season. It's been a real good pre-season. Um, and it's up to us now to kick on. You know, there's going to be lots of bumps in the road, twists, turns, things not go so well, things go really well. So uh, it's important to keep a, a level level head on things and um, just be, be calm. You touched on it then and touched on it earlier, but was Dorky not the perfect way to end pre-season, do you think? Yeah, I think not not only the performance, um, but I, I think we treated that like it was a proper, you know, our last few games, we've, we've treated them like the World League games. Um, how, how we've set up, how the lads have reacted at, or out of possession as well. Um, and then with it being the journey, you know, I purposely set, set us to have a journey up there because we're going to be doing loads of travelling. Um, so it was good to get on the bus massive yeah brilliant that we won but then we had that that bonding session on that the lads have you know obviously carried that on um and it was you know just having little chats getting to know each other what makes people tick you know um uh, learn about the cats the dogs the rabbits you know all, all different things um so so yeah so it was um good little exercise all round, and um we carried that into training on tuesday thursday um, so yeah, Fars is to look forward to at the weekend. I say, how much are you looking forward to? Obviously, your first National League game as a manager and the big occasion on Saturday. Yeah, it is. You know, it's um, again, like I said, it's the first game of the season. Uh, things settle down after a while, but I think it's important that we carry on in in what what we've what certainly what we've been doing. Um, you know, as, uh, I think uh, we said earlier that you know it's important to train train how you, train how you play. Um, and play as you train, you know, both both of those scenarios, you know, that um, if we can train, take that into the game, and then that game kept into training, then, you know, we we, we won't be far away to, to where we want to be, but it's important in maintaining those standards, you know, you can't train really well and then not take it into a game, or same as in, if you get do really well on the Saturday and you don't train right on the Tuesday, you know, that's what I'm saying, you've got to be both, as in, game to train and training to game and it's going to be massive for us. And then finally, just what's your message to the fans then, what you're going to need any season? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, we 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 know that we're the the small club in the league. Uh, I keep using that adage, adage, 66 to 1 we are. Um, and yeah, you fans, you know, what one thing that I will guarantee is these players will give everything they've got as, as of all the staff will, you know, and um, we... <laughs> We certainly need you. We need you to push us on. Certainly, if things aren't going right at any point, you know, to get us pushes on. Um, and yeah, it, it, fans can become a twelfth man, you know, and that's probably a ridiculous statement, but but it, it's true because I think the more vocal you are and encouraging, then then it, the, the players respond to that, you know, and um, and hopefully we can give you something to shout about. You know, it's a two way street, but. Um, but no, we're we're looking forward to it. The lads are lads are, we are as a staff, and uh, certainly now everyone um, within the club is. So um, so yeah, rolling the weekend.